Hello ladies and gentlemen and hardware enthusiasts of all ages, my name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny and I am going to give you an unboxing and review of the GK701 mechanical gaming keyboard from MSI. It does have cherry brown switches. I do apologize for the unstableness of the camera right now. At the time I did not have my tripod so I was stuck using my right hand to hold the camera and the left to show you guys everything that we have. As you can see right now I'm holding with my left hand the user's manual and warranty information. Now let's go ahead and take the keyboard out of this little white protective foam wrapping. Some important features of this keyboard to list are anti-slip rubber feet, multimedia keys, game mode lock, in other words you can lock down your windows key, an ergonomic design and key rollover, and the keyboard itself can last up to 50 million keystrokes courtesy of its Cherry MX brown switches. So here is the keyboard at my desktop after using it for a couple months. Hitting function number and F1 will change the lighting mode. By default, it is unlit. Hitting F1 once will put it into WASDA lighting mode, also known as FPS lighting mode. Hitting it a second time will put it into full keyboard glowing mode. And then hitting it another time will take it back to unlit mode. So just to run that back to you guys with the FPS mode, I do like to play a lot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And once again, here it is in glowing mode. Hitting the dragon key and F11 will increase the volume on your Windows system. Hitting the dragon key and F10 will turn it down. Hitting dragon key and F9, however, will mute it completely. And F5 is rewind, F6 will be play, pause, F7 is stop, and F8 is going to be fast forward. Okay, so now it's time for a little bit of user feedback. After using this keyboard now for a couple months, I'm ready to give it a 5 star rating because it does everything that I need it to do without any mistakes whatsoever. However, if you are a clean freak, you will probably be a little bit disappointed to know that if you are going to eat or drink close to it, it seems as though whatever is liquid that is very close to it, if there is even a droplet on it, it will stain the keyboard and stain it very, very easily. However, in my living situation, it's something that I have to live with. I chose this keyboard over the other ones that MSI had listed on their website because it kind of suits my lifestyle the best. I say this because you guys can see that I have a very, very small desk. So there seems to be a big lack of excess plastic or needless plastic on the coating of the keyboard that kind of gets between my fingers, my hand, the monitor, and the edge of the desk. And in terms of gameplay, it has served me in every way, shape, and form that I would probably need for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I've also been in the Overwatch beta, so... Um, really, the responsiveness of the keyboard is, I feel, very solid. And further, there have been no real bugs to deal with using this keyboard. It sells for about $105 on Newegg.com, and I think that's a reasonable price compared to some of its competitors out there. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time.